Hey everyone, it's attorney Bianca Jordan from Brazen Legal, an immigration law firm that helps immigrants get green cards. Today's video is to explain the difference between DED for Venezuela and TPS for Venezuela. As I reported yesterday, the Biden administration designated Venezuela for temporary protected status, which is a temporary immigration benefit given to people that temporarily cannot go back to their home country due to something like a civil war or an epidemic or a humanitarian crisis such as what's happening in Venezuela now. Earlier this year though, the administration also designated Venezuela for DED, which stands for Delayed Enforced Departure. And this is also a temporary immigration benefit that is given to people for very similar reasons as temporary protected status, but they are two different benefits. And I want to go through those today, and I have some notes, so please bear with me. So delayed enforced departure, as I mentioned, is something totally different from temporary protected status. And so for people that are from Venezuela and would like to apply for one or the other, here are the things that you need to consider. First, DED for Venezuela is only good through July 20th, 2022, whereas TPS for Venezuela is good until September 9th, 2022. So if you have TPS for Venezuela, you'll be protected for longer because TPS is usually given in 18 month increments. So TPS for Venezuela starts March 9th, 2021, and it currently ends September 9th, 2022. So it's going to be a little bit longer than DED, which currently ends July 20th, 2022. If you want to apply for DED, there is no registration process, but if you do want to work hard, you would have to apply for that work hard and pay the $410 fee for the work hard. If you want to apply for temporary protected status, then you're going to have to actually apply for TPS. And if you want to work hard, you're also going to have to apply for that work hard as well and pay those fees which would total $545 because the TPS fee is $50 and then the work hard application fee is 410 plus you have to pay biometrics, which is 85. So your total comes out to 545 and actually the DED total would come out to $495 because of the biometrics as well. If you file for a work card for DED, so let's say you decide you only want to have DED for Venezuela and you apply for the work card for DED Venezuela, and then later on you decide that you want to apply for TPS for Venezuela, you do not need to reapply for another work card unless you want a work card given to you under TPS instead of DED. One of the main differences between DED for Venezuela and TPS for Venezuela is that DED is simply a stay of removal. It's just protection from deportation. It's not a real concrete immigration status, whereas TPS is an immigration status. TPS is an immigration status under our immigration law. So it's an actual statutory immigration benefit that requires you to apply for it whereas DED does not require any sort of um, registration process unless you want to apply for a work card. So again, just to recap, if you want DED for Venezuela, there is no registration process, but if you want a work card under DED for Venezuela, then you have to apply for a work permit and pay those fees, which are $495. $410 for the application and $85 for the biometrics. You can apply for a fee waiver. If your fee waiver is denied, then you will have to go ahead and pay that fee. If you want to apply for TPS for Venezuela, then you can do so. You file the TPS application as well as the work card application if you do want to work hard, and that fee is $545. There's also differences as far as registration requirements. So for DED for Venezuela, like I said, there's no registration period or process necessary. However, you have to have been physically present in the United States as of January 19th, 2021. 
if you're applying for temporary protected status for Venezuela, then you have to have been physically present in the United States as of March 9th, 2021. And that registration period ends on September 5th, 2021. So you still have a couple of months to apply to get all of your documents together and file that application. DED, no registration. TPS, there's registration. DED, the work card expires on July 20th, 2022, whereas for TPS, your work card and your status will expire on September 9th, 2022. If you're interested in applying for TPS and would love my help, please give my office a call at 508-942-7497. Thanks for watching.